that began with practices in August comes to an end in Canton. Welcome to the Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supplies State Title Recap Show. I'm Patrick Hamler. Coming up, we have highlights from the Marion Local Flyers and the New Bremen Cardinals. As the Cards look for their second title in the last three years, Marion Local looks for their 32nd consecutive win, 13th state championship, and third championship in the last four seasons. With all the success Marion Local has had over the last decade, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more dominant season than this one. New Bremen was the only team to score double digits on the Flyers and one of three teams to score against them, period. Marion Local recorded a state record 11th shutout last week against Columbus Grove and haven't allowed a touchdown since September 23rd. Even with all of that, Curland awaits as the only team who has beaten Marion Local in the last seven years in the state title game, notching victories in 15 and 18. This season's Hornets have pitched six shutouts, two in the postseason, and can make it three wins in four state title games against Marion Local today. Zach Keith bringing us the sights and sounds from Canton. Marion Local taking the field as the Flyers looking for state title lucky number 13. And we picked this one up in the first quarter. Kyle Audie taking the handoff and then some chicanery back to Tate Hess getting the first down. Tim Goodwin not afraid to use the back of the playbook in this one. Then coming up on a fourth down and four for the Flyers and Hess pitches it to Darren Meyer. And Meyer is gonna get just enough for the first down and then gets a little bit more. As this will keep this drive alive. But Kirtland holding to another fourth and four. The snap fumble, Drew Loss picks it up but he has nowhere to go. Kirtland's defense stands strong and the Hornets would take over. But later on, the Flyers get it back. And it's Hess looking for Connor Bruns over the middle, finds him, nice completion. Flyers in business, looks like another potential score. And it's gonna be Kyle Audie. He takes the direct snap, gets some nice blocks and takes this one down inside the five, down to the three yard line. And then they finally punch it in. Darren Meyer puts the first points on the board with the score for Marion Local 7-0 in this one. Hornets back on offense. The pass here, and then Aiden Eifert, the bobbling one-handed interception. First turnover of the game for Marion Local. And then we'd have dueling turnovers here for a little bit. Here on fourth and two, Hess looking to pass over the middle, of the Gino Blasini making the interception for Kirtland as they would take back over, and the Hornets now trying to crack their own goose egg in the score column but Marion Local's defense would have none of it. Here is Nathan Busher with the interception at midfield, and he is gonna take it to the house. 53 yards on the pick six. Marion Local up 14 to nothing at this point, and it's looking like another Flyers state title. Two score lead, but the Hornets not done. Third quarter, Jake Laverne finding Will Sale in the end zone for their first points. Two-point conversion, no good, 14 to six. Heading to the fourth, Marion Local looking to take a shot, Hess again, but Placini making the nice interception, possibly saving a touchdown. Curlin though, unable to do anything with it, and then there it is, the thing all coaches love to see, the kneel down. Marion Local, 13th title in 22 years. They win 14 to six. The two teams only combining for 303 total yards in this one, but Marion Local getting it done with defense as they have all season long. Yards were hard to come by, let alone points. Uh, you know, the, the win definitely played a factor in field position that second half, especially, um, you know, and uh, neither team could put much together. So obviously the one drive we had where we actually finished it off and then Nate's pick six obviously were huge because, um, you know, we got a defensive touchdown and their one touchdown came on a short field on a, on a fumble recovery. So tough battle, tough battle. I didn't think it was this tough, but we had 142 yards. Holy cow. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> I thought we could have been bumping 200. Obviously, we have nothing but respect for Coach Laverde and Kirtland and their kids that play hard, physical. Um, um, you know, every time we've played them, it's been tough. It's been tough. And, uh, yeah, they're, they're a good program. And, um, you know, I think in May when they put out the divisions this year and we went from seven to six and they went from five to six, you know, I think, 
probably both schools just kind of took notice of that and and uh, said, well, if we want to win a gold trophy this year, you know, we're going to have to beat Kirtland in the end. I just I saw him overthrow it a little bit, went up and caught it, started running. All I could see was my teammates in front of me. Didn't see anyone else coming, just kept running. Yeah, I mean, all, all year long, I mean, coming into the season, we knew we were going to have a good defense. And uh, today, uh, I mean, they had a high-powered offense, so we knew our defense was going to have to step up, uh, stop the run. I mean, especially last week, that, that number two had a great game. And, uh, I mean, we knew we were just going to have to step up uh, and run to the ball, all 11 hats to the ball, and uh, not, not allow a crease to cut back. At, at a certain point, it comes down to matchups. And some years we've played Kirtland, and we couldn't really match him, match up with them. Um, you know, this year we had some decent dudes up front. I'm talking defensively, but we had linebackers, you know, that could match up with them. Um, and, you know, we played a 5-3, so we played five linebackers, only three secondary guys, and our three secondary guys were – were capable uh, of doing their job as well. You know, we had Tate all year, we put them on their best receiver. You know, he did a good job on number 10 again t tonight, you know. Um, and I, everyone keeps asking, you know, what, what's the key to your defense? Like, we had good players at every level, but at, at some point, you got to have somebody that can cover somebody. And we had that this year with Tate. And then Nate would, Tate would have their first. And if we were in man, well, you know, Nate would have their second. Uh, so that, that was a huge part of, you know, our defense. You, you know, that, and that's what that's that's what we do is we, you know, chase perfection. And Sonny already pointed out every mistake we made. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, you're never going to hit it. You know, and we know that. But it's the quest, right? It's the quest. That's that's what we do, man. We're wired for that quest, and that's what Kirtland is. You know, we're just wired. I think we're just wired differently, like. No, it's like this was a blast today because they competed. Like this was way more fun than us rolling out here, you know, and drilling someone and putting a running clock on. Now it's easy for me to say because we had the 14 and they had the six. I realize that, but I mean that's just what we're, that's what we live for: competition. Uh, I think it's great, especially since it's Kirtland and they've been such a big rival for us for the past couple years and. We're coming into this, we had a losing record against them, and to you know be able to team that can uh, put a win against them, I think it means a lot more than just what he said uh, coming out and just beating another team, just running clock them to actually play a full game and all 48 minutes it was it was awesome. You know, I don't know. This is 24 for me at Marion. Uh, you know, it's another year of great kids that work their tails off. Um, you know, some years you got the bullets to fire. You know, some years you you kind of got to dance around some issues that you, that you have. But um, certainly this is, you know, one of the more physical groups we've had uh, in terms of, you know, being able to play defense. And, you know, the the record that we put up hopefully will we'll stand for a while. It would be something to be proud of. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think probably my takeaway will be us playing defense to win a state title and me over there thinking this is a pretty good matchup. I'm I'm not I'm not upset that our defense has a chance to win a state title for us. Yeah, I mean, all you know, he's just a great guy. Um, even though we're three and a half hours away, you know, we, I think we have a lot in common. If we were somewhere close, we'd probably hang out together. It would be my guess. You know. Um, they play football like Marion plays football, just tough, clean. I mean, uh, just in my opinion, you, you know, you play the way it's meant to be played. Let's roll it out there and let's see who's best. It's hard to pinpoint when you felt New Bremen had this kind of run in them. The Cardinal faithful may have believed all year, but after a tough win against Ansonia and a dominant win over Fort Loramie, a lot more believers showed up. Now, a rematch with Warren JFK, which decided the state title in 2020. David Holman had a punt return for a touchdown in the Cardinals' 31-0 route in 2020 and now commands the offense that has averaged 33 points a game. The Cardinals taking the field at Benson Hall of Fame Stadium 
getting ready for their matchup with Warren JFK. And it would be New Bremen taking charge early on a fourth and one. David Holman keeps it, gets enough for the first down there. Then Holman going to the air. One of his seven completions on the day, finding Aaron Tiemann for a first down. This was mostly a ground attack from the Cardinals this afternoon. Then Hunter Schaefer puts the first points on the board as he gets the handoff, finding the end zone. 7-0 New Bremen. Taking to the second quarter now, and it's David Homan keeping it and making the house call. 67 yards to the house. New Bremen going up 14 to nothing, and this is starting to look eerily familiar to their game back in 2020. Good news for the New Bremen crowd. Later on, it's Homan once again keeping it for a big pickup and moving the sticks. Not many answers for David Holman from the Warren JFK defense today. Holman keeping it again right up the gut. This time, 41 yards, and the Cardinals extending their lead 21 to nothing. This is one of Holman's four touchdowns rushing on the day. Then time winding down before the first half. Hunter Schaefer knocking this one in from 35 yards out. More impressive on this windy day. 24 0 heading into halftime. JFK, though, gets on the board in the third quarter. Caleb Hadley with time going deep, hits Aiden Rossi for the 27 yard touchdown. Two point conversion, no good. Later in the third, it's Holman once again, seven yards out, punching this one in. 234 yards on the ground for Holman. And then JFK fumbling the kickoff. New Bremen taking over and getting right back to it. Holman to the house. Touchdown. New Bremen, number Four, as earlier mentioned, Cardinals are rolling. 38-6, New Bremen getting the win, their second state championship in three years for the Cardinals. Only a few years after they considered shutting the program down, New Bremen state champions for the second time in three seasons. Uh, obviously, I'm really happy for our kids um, in our community. Uh, I was telling somebody I, I had seen a, a quote recently where uh, it said time is measured in minutes, but uh, life is measured in moments. And just what a uh, a great moment for these players and our coaches and their families and, and our community. And I'm just, uh, you know, happy and, and feel blessed and thankful to God that I'm able to be a part of it. Uh, but a lot of it's still sinking in. Uh, um, but obviously you get to this point and, and you want to try to finish with a victory. And uh, I'm happy for these kids that that's uh, the way it finished. I think our, our kids have done a great job. Uh, you know, we've talked about battling through adversity in the playoffs, whether it's been weather. Uh, we were down a couple of touchdowns last week. And, and so it was just one of those that we had to try to weather the storm. And, and, and you're right, the uh, defense uh, to step up there, uh, I thought that was huge to not allow any points. And then uh, the response there, that, that drive uh, uh, was a tremendous drive to take off a lot of time and then be able to punch it in for some points. So. Yeah, just, I mean, that's the game of football, and, and, and fortunately we were able to make enough plays. Well, for me, I, I'm just, I just try to make sure I put them in the best um, spot possible to, to make a play and be successful. You know, one of those, you know, fourth downs there, uh, on one of those drives there in the third quarter after, uh, you know, they score, trying to respond on that. Uh, we had a similar situation, you know, early in the playoffs, and um, it was one of those where it's like, okay, we're going to run it behind our seniors here. Seniors, go get it. And uh, they did that. And, uh, again, they've done a great job of, of, you know, knowing what they need to do and going out and, and executing. Yeah, both sides are they're pretty good. But we have what you call quick guards and quick tackles and strong guards and strong tackles. So they go to left, right, both sides. So it doesn't really matter which side we run it to, but – our linemen do great jobs of just opening up holes and staying on blocks, just open up holes for me and Hunter to get some breathing room and then make open field cuts. It's you know one of those that, hey, that worked pretty well last time. Let's see if we can run it again. And uh, like Dave mentioned, the uh, O-line did a great job of executing. And, and if we can get uh, him and Hunter out into space, we feel like uh, uh, we'll take our chances with that. That is a wrap on the 2022 high school football season. Congrats to all of our area athletes and to our state champions as well. Thank you so much for watching today and all season long. This has been the Layfeld Welding and Industrial Supplies State Title Recap Show. I'm Patrick Hamler. Have a good night.